Hey everyone, Zoss here. We're going to play uh, one of the last uh, Legacy Cubes. And we're just right into it, so let's see what we've got. Um, none of the green cards are great here. Um, there's Splinter Twin. Why don't we just go for Splinter Twin? Uh, it's probably the most broken of the cards. Soren's alright. Shrigma's good. Ponder's good. I think Ponder's probably the best card, but let's just take Splinter Twin... See if we can make that happen. Historically, this is not one of my favorite decks to play. It's very clicky. Um, but, you know, we're, we're being handed this, so. If we get an Exarch or a Pestermite or a Kikijiki or a Resto. I think it's a Resto work. It's a Kiki and Resto. All right. Uh, there's a Flame Tongue Kabu that works with Splinter Twin. Um, and otherwise, Isamaru, I like him. Dwarf Infiltrator mm -hmm. is fine. Yeah, I'll take the take the Kabu. Ooh, here's Force of Will. Uh, I mean, Force of Will does is you know blue red is what you want with this this archetype. So it's a pretty nice signal to see that third. Not a lot of cards that in blue that beat that. Okay. Uh, Slagstorm, maybe if we can wheel that. But I like Days a lot, and I, but really I like Factor Fiction, especially if we're trying to go for Splinter Twin. It's just like massive card advantage. And here there's Click. And careful, I think Click is just a better card. Yeah, we have some solid blue cards here. So even if the red doesn't work out, this is quite a nice start in blue. Probably three of the best cards. Huh, not a lot of red. Maybe red's being taken, but blue is not because there's Control Magic, another fantastic card I'll happily take. Now with this base, we could even go to blue-white if need be. These are four fantastic blue cards. Mm -hmm. Post Siege, it's got a slow card advantage. Also, Mana War and Careful Study. Careful Study does find Splinter Twin. And Mana War is just like an efficient early drop. Let's take the Mana War, it's a little more generic, and then we can maybe wheel the Careful Study. But as I've said, there's so much early aggro in this cube. Um, you know, you really don't want to just have four drops and lose. Hey, look at that fire ice. I think that's perfect. Fire, especially. Isochron Scepter. An instant. Huh. Maybe we just take the scepter. It's a little, uh. We don't have that much for it yet, but we can start to prioritize instance. Well, there's a vapor snag. But I like uh, Wharf Infiltrator. It's a creature. It sort of fills the role of Merfolk Looter as well. OK. 
Okay, I'll happily take an old man. Another nice card against blue. Okay. Well, red is being taken, so maybe we won't get to play this. Okay, steady came back. As I thought it might. Uh, here's a Delver. Okay. Delver is pretty inconsistent. There's Brainstorm, though. Brainstorm and Electrolyze. Uh, hmm. Brainstorm's nice with Scepter. Now let's, I think the Electrolyze is more likely to wheel, so I'll take the Brainstorm. Ooh, and there's Kikijiki. So, we then have Twin and Kikijiki. You can't really put Twin on Kikijiki, but... Uh, now if we can just find one of those other cards. It looks like no one's playing blue, so hopefully we'll get one of the others. Uh, Brimstone, probably just Ancestral vol Volley, to be honest. It's good card advantage. And yeah, I like Incinerate. Incinerate is an instant for my Scepter. So that's a thing. Sower is so good, though. Right now we have Fire, Brainstorm. Can we just take Incinerate? We have a lot of four drops. Okay, I've, I've talked myself into it. Incinerate. And Thing in the Ice is actually... This may be the, the kind of deck where it shines. There's also Glacial Fortress in, in case we get Resto. But uh, I'll take the Thing in the Ice. Gotta live, right? Ooh, Remand. Yeah, counter spells are, are always good. And Miscalc. Yeah, more, more nice things to put on my stick. And I guess I'll take a Serum Visions. So now really just looking for things to kiki jiki. <laughs> How many targets do we have for Scepter? One, two, three, four, five. That, that's good enough, I think. We have actually very few non-legendary creatures. Delver might might be good here. Man, no one took the Elspeth or the Hero. That's criminal. Phantasmal Image. I'll take the Preordain, though. I normally really like Phantasmal Image, but I think here Preordain is better. Just randomly take a Titan. Well, we have a deck now, and just absolutely none of the twin enablers. Hopefully, there'll be one or two in pack three. And sure, I guess I can kiki some avalanche riders, maybe. We have, like, no fixing either. So there's the option of just playing mono blue. One, two, three, four. That's certainly an option. We didn't get the sower back. I didn't think we would. Mm. At least we have a lot of one drops. Ooh. 
also that that uh, other in there's is it charm is it charms pretty good for us there's also mimic that which is I find a very strong card but I think it you just can't beat treachery right so we'll take treachery and maybe we can wheel either impulse or charm or vat Spectre. Just take Spectre in case red isn't happening. Mm -hmm. We'll just take Compulsive Research. Let's take Compulsive Research. All right, I think we have to face the option that we may just be mono blue, in which case Master of Waves is fantastic. So we'll take that. Uh, and then there's Wake Thrasher, Remove Soul. I like Remove Soul. Put it on the stick. So boop, 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 boop. And I guess we're not playing careful study. Uh, four spike, which I really like. There's also, but I think we just take old drifter. All right, I think we're not going to have our kiki jiki combo. Uh, well, cyclonic rift is an instant, and it works on our our scepter. And Teferi is probably what we want here. Hey, look at that Thassa. I didn't even notice her the first time around. Alright, so we're mono blue control. Mono blue Thassa. We have so many scepter targets. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. There's impulse or is it charm? Yeah, is it charm? Man, and the mimic vat. Mimic vat is quite the card, but if we don't have the removal, then yeah, I think we just take charm goes with the stick better. Panhanarpticon. Okay, I guess I'll put that in the sideboard. Huh. Maybe those cards weren't opened, or did I just miss them? I feel like I'm the only blue drafter, so maybe I just got unlucky. Can't see anyone else taking Exarch or Pestermite. Yeah, maybe just didn't happen. All right, this will be. Now I wish we'd taken the sower, obviously, instead of the incinerate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I put Fire Ice on a Scepter? That I don't know. So I think that's something I'm going to look up. Panharmonicon, is that good for us? We have Moldrifter with it, Geist with it, Master of Waves with it, Click. No. Man of War. Seems like trying a little bit too hard. Um, all right, I'm just going to pause here and see if I can learn whether or not the Fire Ice works on Isocon Scepter. Okay, so it sounds like split cards do work with Scepter. So since we have so many cards, let's just kind of do the build from scratch thing. And I think we do want to make this a Scepter deck. 
So let's just look at all of the cards that work with Scepter, first of all. Um, so this would be instants that are two or less. Storm, Rift, and that's it. Okay, so how many cards? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's definitely enough. Uh, and then with that, I think we're also playing Thing in the Ice and Delver. There's instant or sorcery. So let's add Visions, Visions, Preordain. Okay, so we got a lot of little cantrips and instants and things too. Uh, now let's add the just like pure good stuff. So force and treachery are probably the two best. Um, to fairy, master of waves, control magic, factor fiction, and then with all this, I think we play Thassa. And let's see, there's a V click. And we have room for maybe two more cards of all this. Mm. Oh, Geists, mm. Muldrifter. Mm. Wake Thrasher, I like Wake Thrasher. Wake Thrasher works with Thassa, you know, makes mm. him unblockable. So one more of all of these cards. Thing is, I don't actually have that many permanents. There's a bit of the issue. Uh, if you look at permanence, there's really just this. A bit low on permanence, so something to think about. Although this control magic and treachery both count as permanence for, uh, for Thassa. So maybe we want uh, old man. He's the most like blue mana symbols, and we can always like add in more permanence if need be. Mm -hmm. And then just. Oh, but the is it charm? Yeah, the problem with the is it charm though. I think we actually can't play the is it charm. We just want to play mono blue. Where's the fire? What happened to fire ice? There it is. Okay, so not is it charm. And then there's mana war just to bounce something. If it gets three, we don't through. We don't have a good answer. Or a Geist. Let's do Mana War. Okay, this is a bit of an interesting deck. Pretty low on... Not kind of what I was expecting I was going to get. Um, feels maybe a bit threat light, but you know, we got control magic and treachery. So let's give this a shot. We have a reasonable amount of sighting in we can do. including taking out the scepter. Scepter on Brainstorm's just very good, for example. 
One, two, three, four, five. So we have five scepter targets. All right. Really surprised we didn't get any enablers for the Splinter Twin Kiki Jiki. Against like a red type deck, we can take out guys like Th Wake Thrasher and uh, Teferi and you know just bring more of these early guys in. Alright, we can already play a Delver and put a Scepter on it, on something. Go, go, Gadget Delver. And then we probably just put Scepter on Remove Soul, I think. magic no it's not an instant or sorcery uh, so now I think we just sit on this calico remove soul playing a scepter right now seems bad Really, rather than play Scepter, like play the Scepter when I have more mana available. Like, use it instantly. Okay, Miscalc or Remove Soul? I think, um, Miscalc. Just because I like the idea of the Remove Soul on the Scepter a little bit better. Preordain, yes. Let's put bottom top in my island. And now maybe we put Scepter on Remove Soul. So now I just want to sit on my Remove Soul. I don't think I want to tap out for a Thrasher. If he plays, tricks me at playing something really problematic, then we can always control it. And now we can FOF end of turn. Baruch Relentless. Yep, that's unfortunate. That will kill my, my Delver. Storm or three lands. Uh, <clears throat> I think we want I actually think I want the lands because then I can keep up remove soul and play these other things. Play a 
that thing in the mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I can play mm -hmm. thing in the ice. I still want to keep her with the soul up. It's too dangerous. Group Apex Predator. Okay. Yikes. That's not great. That is not great at all. Whew, okay, can we beat that? Um, control magic seems bad. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we can end of turn to fairy. Sifter. That doesn't let me to ferry, but he can block anyway, so sure. Now, is he got another thing to trick me? Okay. Could control magic his courser. Seems bad, but and I misplayed by playing the land first. We just take it. Mm, treachery on his guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, guess I'll play a wake thrasher. Maybe we can end of turn to fairy. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that was bad. I could have to fairy mm -hmm. and and wake thrasher at the end of turn. That's also just a bad move. Yep. Thrasher. No, he makes a beast, okay. So we can treachery the beast token and attack with everyone to kill Garuk.
Too bad I don't have Tharsa. Attack Garut, that should at least kill him. can like overload him with cyclonic rift. Okay, Alright, we actually won. Unbelievable. I thought we had completely lost. Alright, green black aggros. Dungeon Geist is pretty good that, against that. Now we don't have a, really any answers against his Planeswalkers. Um, mm -hmm. Worf Infiltrator doesn't seem great against him. I do like Dungeon Geist though. Thrasher. I think he's, he's going to have removal, so Dungeon Grace isn't actually that fantastic against him. Old Man's good against him. Yeah, I think we just run it back. I like it. Keep. Serum visions. Uh, yeah, I like both of those. So top, top. Storm into his turn. Uh, I guess we don't want Island or Island. Eventually we'll get to overload here. Alright, so we'll do end of turn factor fiction. We also have to watch out there's a bit of a nombo here with Thing in the Ice and Treachery Control Magic. Yeah, Thassa is going to seem pretty nice. Tassa and Island, or Mana War, Ice. I like the Thassa. So one, two, three. Creatures, so including my Thassa. All right, well, I'll just play her. I might as well. Just gear hulk. 
Sure, you can have that. Onward, my thing, okay. So actually, we want to have the scry first. Mm -hmm. So we have max chance of flipping Delver. So we put that at the bottom. And island now. And do we just control, or do we treachery. I guess we control because we don't need the land. And we can always rift if need be. At least we can reduce the chance of drawing land now. Vindicate on the Gear Hulk. Uh, sure. It's okay. So, two for two there. Vindicate Gear Hulk on Thing and Control Magic. First, we have the scry first. Put that on the bottom. Review. Again, four islands in a row. Man, that is annoying. I've been putting these islands on the bottom, right? <laughs> yeah. I'll just make the Delver unblockable here. That seems pretty bad, but I'm not going to be doing anything else with it. At least now we can cast a giant cyclonic rift if need be. that on top. Yes. Okay, and now... So he can start making, like, big stuff. But I can actually just attack Nyssa here, I think. That's, uh... And I like keeping remove soul on top. I could also just treachery his oracle. And then, like, counter whatever stuff he has. I do like Treachery the Oracle. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it's not going to help me with Thassa, though. Uh, hmm. There's also just better stuff to Treachery. No, I'm okay with him having this and just more like eventually just doing like a giant cyclonic rift. Three, four, five. I don't know. It's going to give him a ton of land though. And we can make it unblockable. Yeah, uh, let's do, let's treachery. And it's a nice combo with Thassa. Let's attack 
That's the voice of Zendikar. And just in case he has like a resto or something. right on the treachery. I forgot he had that. And I can't bring back the treachery to my hand. So Okay. Uh-oh. Recurring nightmare. Uh-oh. That's really bad. And then he can bring the stupid Gear Hulk back. Ugh. That's gonna be really bad for us. Uh, does this even do anything? No, he's got too much mana. Okay, let's dig deep. Bottom and bottom. Master of Waves. Not amazing here at all. Master's just bad here. He can noxious gear hulk it. Um, yeah, I think this kind of kills us. about that. So we can do a giant rift and hope to win with that. Ugh, I don't see this going anywhere. Oh, <laughs> one turn too late, Force of Will. One turn too late. I mean, at least now, next time he casts Recurring Nightmare, we can force it. I can force of will his group. All islands, all day. Try to do the the Isochron Scepter now. Maybe just try to have more permanents to fight him. He's got ten lands, there's six left. Soul. 
four. Old man. Yeah, I don't think we can beat the. I think I'm just going to concede. Uh, okay, so recurring nightmare. We definitely want the Stratus Dancer. Right? Maybe Scepter's not that good. I think Dungeon Geist is good. And maybe even Moldrifter. We take out Ice. No, well, ice is good with scepter, but on its own. And remand. Maybe I take out the serum visions then. Just have a couple more permanents. All right, let's try that. All right, it's not great, but I'll keep it. I have Mana Warren. Fact or fiction? Force of Will, it's good. Remember not to have six anymore. Yeah, this is not a May effect, so it's pretty bad if I mm -hmm. play it by itself. what he's thinking about here. Is he deciding maybe he's, he's going to say is he trying to put something in the graveyard? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to save this for the really scary stuff. Might as well bounce this battlement. Attack, but I'll fuff end of turn. I don't really feel like playing as such a small master of ways. Courser, that's fine. That's something I want to stop. <laughs> Just take the control magic. Uh, so remember, this time if I take the courser, I might want to play an island. I think that's good, right? I take the courser, that gives me some like sort of card advantage, and I'm able to force of will his. Uh, his nightmare. 
Yeah, let's do that. Go for the throat. Yeah, we just t we can't afford to uh, force that. We have to keep force up for the recurring nightmare. Garuk relentless. That also does present a problem, um, but we have to stop. The nightmare is even worse though, so we have to allow that. Could just ping the wake thrasher, which makes it pretty weak. Uh, I guess I'll just cancel. See if we can just draw something. And that's brainstorm. Uh, island, island, I suppose. Um, I guess we just play a thing in the ice here. seem like it's giving us a whole lot of we're playing force of will straight up so I'll just wait mm -hmm. now he can start finding any creature he wants though what I want to force as well. Now we got nothing. There's the possibility of winning now with um, if we draw Thassa and just making an unblockable Wake Thrasher. And there's things we can draw. This is pretty scary. Noxious Gear Hulk, that's not good for us at all. I'm 
focusing on my wake thrasher. Just not good drawing so many lands. We just don't have enough big threats in this deck. It's hard to justify playing Kiki and Splendor Twin though, just to kind of on their own, you know. He's got so if I can flip the thing, okay, there's Thassa and Geist. Um, I think we need the Geist right away, so the top, top, and then Geist. And then do we make the Master of Waves? I think we do. I don't have time, I think, for anything else. I can attack the Rook. No, don't render my skin, bro. There's no chance. And yep, yeah, that's really bad. We can destroy that. And I think we're dead. Hard to fight, but yeah, just didn't have the staying power of the sort of big creatures in this deck that I think you need sometimes. Just don't see how we can possibly play Kiki Jiki and Splinter Twin when we don't have, you know, stuff to go with it. All right, uh, here we are, match two. Just seeing if we want to make any deck edits. Um, could add a few more permanents. Like, well, you know, one problem was that Thassa wasn't really turning on because there weren't enough permanents. The other thing I realized is because I have so much card filtering, that actually there's effectively a higher percentage of land because these sort of replace themselves. So I'm okay with also taking one land out and adding something like a Muldrifter.
All right, yeah, let's try that. Definitely interested in the comments if you would build differently. Uh, but let's give this a shot. Definitely be, would be interesting to build a pin harmonic on deck. I played against one, it was very powerful. Had a couple titans and green coming to play creatures. All right. Let's see how we do with Ninja Commando. All right, we'll keep this. So Ancestral or Delver, I think we start with Delver just because the, so we can get that clock started. Okay, another of these. Growing all the lands. Do I ice? I think I just ancestral vision here. So I feel like I play these green decks with 16 or 17 lands, and I'm always having mana problems, and then here it's just like flooded out each time. some bones. Uh, what did what was revealed? Is it island? Must have been a second island, right? So no. Well, that's quite annoying. <clears throat> Guess I'll stop on his upkeep and get one of his lands. Not great, not great. Uh, I guess I'll ice this. God, another land. It's not an auspicious start. <clears throat> and this is with uh, 16 lands now. Don't think playing 15 is right. And pretty much, well, that's pretty terrible for us. Force of Will, yes, we can reveal. All right, and now we'll just attack. Too bad it's uncastable. <laughs> and we can remove this. This uh, deck has not been performing super well. Kind of wish now we had that OG Tide or yeah, Bone Shredder, and unfortunately can't do anything about that. <clears throat> so it's gonna wreck us. I feel like this guy's got a recurring nightmare, just like our previous opponent. Gotta draw. 
Okay. Well, I definitely want both of those. Um, do I then play Thassa now? <coughs> or do I save, save her for a force of will? Put on... Top and top. <sighs> this just ends up not being very good. I don't really have the permits for it. I guess I actually need to not play it and save it for Force of Will in case there's something really bad. <clears throat> What a weird draft. I mean, Kiki Jiki and Splinter Twin, and then nothing else. It's just if there's like a recurring nightmare, we just have to stop that. I don't know why he doesn't grow his ooze. Rag tusk. That's yeah, mildly problematic for sure, but maybe we can treachery it. Can we force afford to force this? Yeah, maybe we have to. We'll just be dead too quickly otherwise. So here's some stuff. Uh, we can flash into fairy. And at least now we have miscalc, so. Can make it a 4-4. Four, four. We can eat our Delver and the Thrag test, and it's a 5-5, five, five, and that's problematic, to say the least. Of course, now I wish I had the, the Thassa. gonna block because then I'll just lose with Teferi. I think I need to foff into like a treachery or something. life. I think we got to miscalc that. And then now let's foff. All the useless lands. <clears throat> remand or brainstorm? I guess we'll take the remand. We can play old man. We can also flash in old man. Um, maybe we just play old man though. And then we have remand up. I 
Maybe we also just click him. Yeah, I think we click. So I still want to stop. That's on the stack. Can I hit OK and then have it on the stack? I don't know if I can. Okay, now he's done it, so now I want to click. And then what's his name? Zenith and Rexage. Okay, I don't care about Rexage, but Zenith is scary, so let's put the Zenith on the bottom. Okay, and now we're done. We can just F6 because we've got no mana. Can Teferi and Remand. <clears throat> Attack with a click. Stop. Oh, I should have used the mystic. All right. So let's at least take this. I think it's okay. We'll flash into fairy afterwards. Tap this. Okay, and then so I think we bounce the Bayloth and then we bounce this and then we treachery the rampaging Bayloth. Just attack with a buddy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, he can have that. Taking the ooze is not good because he can 
the Thrag Tusk. Do we just Cyclonic Rift? Does that kill him? Six, seven, eight. Yep, let's just cast with Overload. Hmm. All right. So green, black, I'm guessing recurring nightmare. Um, anything we want to change? Old man's good. Moment stuff's pretty good. Is the scepter again trying to be too cute? I think it might be. Maybe we're just better off with some dungeon geists. Maybe the Stratus Dancer over like what an ice. Ice isn't that good. Okay, let's do that. Delver again, we'll keep. Mm -hmm. um, we got Thassa and Master. Okay. Serum Visions, yes. Uh, Preordain. Yeah, that's great. And Control Magic. So I think we want... Uh, top, top. Just attack. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. So we should, in principle, have five mana symbols, but I don't know if we want to play such an early master. I wonder if we play Thassa first, though, over the Man of War. Yeah, I wonder. I think that might actually be better. Because this isn't that big of a clock, and I'd rather bounce something that takes up way more mana. Controlling that thing is just mm. awful, it seems like. Uh, it seems I want to just mm. bounce his scrounger. Mm. And then we can like control magic something else he plays. 
So let's preordain first. Uh, we can put that on the bottom. And brainstorm we can put on the top. Uh, do we just play the Man of War here? Yeah, I can see playing, playing the Man of War. And the advantage is now next turn we can control magic. If he plays like some big creature and then Thos is on. Okay. Well, this time we had good cards treachery, force, rainstorm. So, similar matchup as last time, but deck performed better. Okay. Hey folks, here we are for match three of our mono blue deck, the failed Splinter Twin Draft. Uh, I was just looking to see if I want to add move more blue mana symbols because really our Thassa is often not hitting. Uh, and so I was wondering if, you know, maybe I want to add like Dungeon Geist and take out some other card, like maybe the... It's tough, though, because the preordained Serum Visions really turns on the Delver. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? I'm just going to keep it as it is. Uh, yeah, I think I'd take it out. We can always, you know, take out the stick. Maybe we, yeah, maybe the stick is just not that good, and I want Dungeon Geists. I'm going to keep it for science. Um, <laughs> and uh, we'll... We'll see how it goes. I will say I really regret taking that incinerate over the the sower of temptation. I was really big on making that happen. <clears throat> All right, we got a force of will and a, a click. We'll keep that. Old man and Teferi. Uh, let's put old man on top and Teferi on the bottom. Yeah, factor fiction, that's nice. <clears throat> and I suppose we can click him on his draw stop. Ooh, and there's a Thassa, but yeah, we'll we'll click first. I suppose, right? Or do we just Thassa first? The advantage of Thassa first is it does give us the scries. Uh, so we can scry into fact or fiction. Yeah, let's Thassa first. I not put a stop on his turn? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're fine with an arena. Scepter. Do we put Scepter on something? Yeah, because we're going to have a factor fiction soon, right? No. No, that's a tough one. Uh, I mean, it seems like it could be really good. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll put it on top, and then we can click on his, his draw step. Grave Titan, Necromancer, Ognixilis, Reanimate. 
Huxing Deluge, huh? Hmm. So Deluge is sort of bad, but I guess I can just make him use it. Uh, he's got both Necromancy and Reanimate. So maybe I want to put his Reanimate in the graveyard. And then if he necromancies the Grave Titan, I can bounce it. That's probably right. The other option is we just uh, take out Toxic Deluge because it's his only removal. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Put some fast pressure on him with a click. Go for the throat, okay. <laughs> well, that must be what he just drew. He's gonna reanimate my own click on me, huh? Well, that's interesting. Then we can mana war it. Uh, hmm. Then he can take my mana war. I'm going to have to. But otherwise, do I really have any answer in my deck to a click? Forcing that seems bad. Yeah, I'll force it. And force it with... I guess I want to keep the Man of War. I guess it's got to be the old man, because I want to keep the, uh, the Man of War. that on top and we can foff So don't mind. No, I meant to foff on my turn, on his turn. No. Oh, Christ. Okay. And now I can just play a thing in the ice. I guess that's okay. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, F4. My mistake. Uh, yeah, I'll just play thing in the ice here. Okay, so now we can play Grave Titan pretty bad for us. Well, we can fake him. Mm. Necromancy mm. works on anything as well, huh? Mm. <clears throat> I 
Maybe against this guy we sight out the sight the scepter and put in like dungeon geists. Miskalk seems good, but also kind of too late. I guess what we need to do is factor fiction end of turn or miscalc is Titan, but. Cast it. Oh man, it's not even like when he. Uh, that's really good. Four and less, three and less. I guess we factor fiction in response. I guess the visions are better here. We can just concede though, right? Because we're gonna take four or five. Well, we might as well, I don't know. I'll just keep playing. I don't see how we get out of this, but. could still somehow cast the thing in the ice and bounce everything. Okay. Try brainstorm. Is there any way we can cast these two spells? We could play Scepter and remand our own Scepter, but that's not going to be enough. So I think we can just, right? There's no way to cast. Yeah, we can. We can remand. No, we can't remand the brainstorm. I say we could remand the brainstorm. We could recast it. But uh, did we play land this turn? Yeah, we did. So we can't even wake Thrasher. Okay, I'll just concede. So I think the scepter is not has not been working out here. Mm. Maybe we take an infiltrator. Maybe a geist. 
I like Geist and Infiltrator and Stratus Dancer. Maybe we take out <sighs> Maybe we take out Ice. Yeah, maybe Old Man's not that good, but Old Man gives... Uh, maybe I'll take out the Warf Infiltrator. Okay. Still want him to flip that Delver. Although Delver is actually not that great against him with all the removal he has, but... Alright, let's give this a shot. I thought I took out Old Man. Yeah, I, I kept him in. Okay. Keep it. Control Magic is good. So let's do... Let's do top... top. Scalp up. Um, I guess do we just play old man here? No, we don't play old man and give him that information, so let's just. Control him <laughs> or miscalc him. Yeah, let's uh, let's miscalc. Okay, let's just keep going. Maybe place like a Grave Titan or something I can control. Or something I can Dungeon Geist. Obliterator. Seems like a nice control magic option. And we can force of will if there's something really bad. Chainer's Edict, huh? Um, do we force that? Do we force that? I kind of like the idea of doing a Master of Waves. I'll force it. We might still have Dismember for it, though, but I guess that's okay. So I'll force that and get rid of the Old Man. Keep up geists and waves. Take three, four. 
four, one, two, three, four. All right, it's going to destroy my creature here. No, it does not. Okay, that's nice. Got a lucky hit there. And we can click, probably click him end of turn so that we can hit Obnixilis. Okay, and I will probably click him on his end step to be able to make sure to kill Obnixilis as opposed to doing his draw step. Yeah, alright. This will persecute, you say. Okay. Mage, that's fine. Merchant two, four, six, eight, eight point life swing. That's pretty scary. That is pretty scary. There's also Liliana, hmm, Arena. Yeah, that gray merchant's gonna be a real problem. But so is the worm coil. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Mm. I I think we take the worm coil though. Well, no, maybe we just take the great er merchant because if he plays the worm coil, I can geist it. No, I can't geist it because after geist is persecuted. All right, I'll take the worm coil. This may be losing, but I don't have a good answer either way. And it's still nine points of flying. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'll say I'll keep the mold drifter because I think the flying could be relevant.
as we attack. Eight mana. We know he's got a Liliana there. Maybe we just play Stratus Dancer. Then Master of Waves next turn. The other option is I could just mm -hmm. cast Moldrifter for Evoke mm -hmm. and have the two mana to Megamorph. I think that's going to be the right call. Yeah. just instant or sorcery spells, but still. He might have one. You can green merchant me as long as the persecutor's up, I'm okay. But then you can just cast Liliana to kill it. Okay, unfortunately that's not an instant or sorcery. So let's go demonic tutor here. Or vampiric tutor. Okay. Well, Wake Thrasher is actually pretty big. Nine. If I want two up, and that's seven mana. So that's enough to play Wake Thrasher and Master of Waves. I can also just attack through here and kill Liliana. But let's. And I could also just Man of War this guy. But then the Grey Merchant, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, uh, wrecks me. Maybe it's right, though? No, let's play the Wake Thrasher and then the Master. I think we just kill Liliana here. plays Grey Merchant. How does he sack it? Oh, he sack it to the Mind Vendor. 
Well, that's pretty good. Oh. And now he can just great merchant me. Yeah. All right, well played opponent. All right. Well, that was it for my mono blue deck. It was a little underwhelming, I think. Um, really, when we look at what happened, uh, I tried to draft a Kikijiki deck, and I didn't uh, didn't really get the cards for it. It's weird because I got Kikijiki and Splinter Twin, but and none of the blue cards were being taken. But I didn't get Pestermite or Exarch. So either something weird happened, and someone else took those cards early, or they just didn't get opened, uh, which is always a possibility. Anyway, uh, not the most exciting draft ever, but I uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks.